Hello, hello, my name is Prue or Prue LaRue. Thank you so much for stopping by today. And today I have the relatively highly requested for my tiny ass channel, the Blue Moon Colourpop Eyeshadow Palette, three looks, one palette. Here is a preview to the first look mixed in with my lovely sugar pill shiver lipstick i bought it, it was, i i completely missed it in showing you in my haul <laughs> to make sure to go check out my haul because it's quite big i need more opinions what i should be using quickly uh so far the blue moon seems to have a lot of attention so this is what i'm doing my next three looks one palette on at the moment there's probably gonna be a few three looks one palettes popping up quickly as i'm just trying to get a lot of use out of my palettes anyway let me show you how i created this look all right, hello. So we've got my full face listed down below and we're going on the MAC Paint Pot and Soft Ochre. I do this for every look. I think I only show you once. We are just going in with Moonlight and I'm packing this onto the inner part of my crease just to build up some shade and see how it really performs. Then I'm just loving this brush. I'm cleaning it off in between uses. Going in with Starry Eyed and I'm doing sort of a gradient effect look here. So we're putting Starry Eyed next to that one. They look pretty much the same shade, don't they? My gosh. Then we are going to Fine China, and then this is going in the outer corner to build up some depth going on in this look. Finally, a shade that looks different. How exciting is this? <laughs> I'm just trying to blend it in and then clued in, which is this really nice dark shade, and I'm just building this up underneath my eye and then bringing it up to that outer corner. I just really wanted something a bit darker and more in depth to this. So I'm just doing that triangle business and here we go. Um, and this video was meant to go up last week and I'm so sorry. I've been on night shift and so tired. Anyway, I'm going into the ColourPop No Filter Concealer and we're going to cut the crease. I'm just using my tiny little flat packing brush and trying to make a neat job of this. Man, I think I'm getting better. Tap it in, make sure it's a bit blendy blend. And then we're using Tide Pull on the lid. Now I'm just going in completely on this one. I do really like Tide Pool as a shade. It's quite lovely. So yeah, <laughs> back to my night shifts while we talk about this. My man, I just got so tired. I was like, I'm going to edit in between nights and it just did not happen. I'm only coming to this today and I'm just so sorry. I was so excited to get this up last week and uh, I've learned my lesson. I cannot prepare I cannot do editing when I'm on night shifts I just can't so I'm gonna work on that more in the future so we're now moving into Lumi which is this shimmery shade it's a duochrome it's a white blue duochrome and I really was very surprised by how blue it shows up when I'm putting it on the inner corner look I'm like swatchy swatch why is this blue on my inner corner it's like a strange shade and then this is Shiver. I'm just, I mean, I just love this shade. I had to show you guys. It's very opaque, very easy to go on. I do really love the Sugar Pill lip formula. It is quite comparable, I would say, to the Jeffree Star lip formula. It's long wearing and they have some pretty cool shades, as you can see. Anyway, I just stepped off screen. I've put the Australia Stamp It liner. I fixed it up with the NYX Epic Ink liner and the Natio amplify and separate mascara i really love this mascara i think it looks quite good what do you reckon and here is the final look up close i i quite like this one <laughs> i'm not gonna lie i've realized that i have forgotten to put water like something on my waterline how silly so we're going in with my new color pop liner and prance and damn did that really give that some bang 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 i really enjoy this look and here's a full face, just so you can see what my face looks like when I've got so much blue on it. Woo! <laughs> Sorry, I'm just so excitable today. Alright, well we're off to the second look. This is going to be a bit more simplistic. Dabba D, which I just love the name of that shade. Solely for Eiffel 65, that's one of my favourite songs. I just really wanted to spend some time building this up and really get a good look at how this shade works. We got some fallout. This seems to have to be a lot lately, but we're just blending this above the crease. I'm trying to get good at going a bit higher than normal. Then we're going back in with Dabba D, but this time I'm using my flat shader brush from MAC 
and I'm using this to sort of more dab it on and then build it up and you can see the color difference in this it is kind of crazy I don't know so I love this shade as it is now but when you blend it when I blend it out as you can see it's just not I don't know it hasn't got that bang so that's why I'm going in and just building it up with that shadow and then using Billie Jean I'm just putting this on my inner corner and then it's going to go on my outer corner I'm sort of going for a halo effect here and I'm going to put Lumi which is that duochrome in the center of my lid I really wanted to see what it kind of looked like and just in different spots but just trying to link those two together get a nice sort of blended halo and this is a Lumi now I'm putting this on the inner part of my lid and just building it up. It really just blends to not much. I don't know. It goes back. It looks like the silver, doesn't it? Am I crazy? Because it, it looks the same. And then we are going to go back into Bada... Oh gosh, I lost it. Baba Deep. Baba Deep, Baba Dai. I'm just sort of fixing up that bit, pushing some of that fallout out. Man, that side really got coated with that glitter. And then we are going in with Tide Pool. I think this is probably one of my favorite shades. I'm just putting that in my inner corner. You all know how I love a bright inner corner. And then I am still on my kick of matching my inner corner to my liner. So I pulled out my Manhattan liner. I think it's like Aqua Quartz or something. It'll be in the description bar. It was a bit sheer than I thought it was going to be, but I really do like that shade. Then using the NARS Climax Mascara, just chuck that on. I did put a lot more layers on the this and here we have the final look I like it I like this more subtle bluish look and that Bubba D shade with the way that I've used it I really like the way that it built up so I've put on my Colourpop in Gingham and this is the final full face look moving on to look number three go Cowboys if you're a Queenslander you would understand um, I'm sorry if you're non Australians out here so we're going into with starry eyed and this is going to be another gradient look, but with some different shades. I really was quite determined to make the gradient work for this palette because to me, it was just a good way to play with all of the blues. Then moving into fine China, you can see I'm choosing some of the more darker shades to use in my crease. And I think this does look better. So going into the middle part of above my crease, I'm trying to, like I said before, I'm trying to get better at putting it a bit higher up in my eye. I do really love that look. It's just something in me wants to always put it exactly in my crease. I'm not really sure why. Then going in with Clued In, this is going for the outer corner. Now I'm doing that triangle effect and this just for me really helps me to keep a really nice straight line or like an attempt. <laughs> I've just destroyed that straight line right there. Um, but I, I do like doing this. Uh, the smack brush was really serving me well with this palette and you know, building it all up. Then we are going just blending, blending, blendy blend, blend it all in. Just trying to make it really smooth, a gradient effect. Then I decided to use some of my MAC Studio Fix Plus to do a cut crease. I don't recommend this at all. I just have a lot of foundation samples and I need to get through them. So I was using a paintbrush and I'm trying to create a full over cut crease. Triangle. This is sort of inspired by Annette's Make It Corner. She always does some crazy wings like this, as that I really wanted to give it a whirl. Then I'm going back into Lumi. This shade just really, I really needed to get to the bottom of it. So I'm putting it all over my lid and I want to see what it looks like. Is it blue? Is it white? Is it silver? What is going on with the shade? Um, let me know what you think from having watched this and let me know if you have this palette, what you think of Lumi. It is very pretty. I just, I don't know, something about it. Just, I needed to keep playing with it. I need to know. I do think it's very beautiful. Then using Bada D, I'm going underneath my eye and building that up. Just the same with the short, the short shadow brush from MAC. And bringing a bit around. Blending, blending. I'm trying to make this look a bit more seamless. This is the final look. I'm not sure how I feel about this one. What was going underneath my eyes? Then I've gone in with some liner. I've used the NYX Epic Ink Liner, the Astralis Stamp It. My Lancome Mascara in Doll Eyes. I've also used the NYX Faux White in White Smoke on my waterline. And this is the final look. 
I'm not sure how I feel about it. Let me know what you think. This angle it looks a lot better underneath the eye. And mm, I don't know, it is pretty. I'd love to know what your favorite look was. Please do let me know. That brings us to the end of Three Looks One Palette with the ColourPop Blue Moon Palette. I hope you enjoy it. I tried to mix it up a little bit and look one and look two are a bit similar and the fact that I tried to create that gradient effect in my crease again wasn't the most successful but I do enjoy sort of this look and I think they're different enough from each other. I was thinking of going in with that Billie Jean the silver shade and just doing a look with that one shade in it but I can't. I'm blued out. I, I had no idea this could happen but uh I'm sick of blue. Blue is my favorite color and I'm devastated to do this. But yeah. All right, so let me know what your favorite look was. I absolutely love hearing your opinions. I am trying to get like a little bit creative with them all to, I don't know, to challenge myself and also to hopefully bring you guys something a bit more different to look at and all that crap. So what I want to do is chit chat about so this is $12 US, Colourpop, affordable, fantastic, we all know that. Blendability, it's low, it's low. You saw, I had so much trouble with this and I spoke a bit about this in the Lethal Cosmetics four looks that I just did that you sort of have to dab, dab, dab and then blend it out but I found this was far worse and I found really to get the pigment that's in here I had to use my MAC, where's my little friend? A MAC 214 brush was the only brush that seemed to really pick it up well and be able to deposit the shadows really nicely. They did blend out but they sort of, tis not as good as it could be. I had a lot of fallout. It was a bit troublesome. Pigment wise, you know, it's, it's my own fault for buying a blue eyeshadow palette. There's just, yeah. I think it's a really good choice of colours for a blue palette. I think they did fantastic in that. And I think a lot of the shades, when you do get them to work how you want, they do look really good. And uh, clued in was quite nice for a dark blue. I feel like I just love Darby Dubby and I really wanted this one to perform better than it did. But it just, I don't know, it's, it's, it's patchy. It's a patchy little fella. I feel like Fine China is probably the best shade in here. Lumi is amazing. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna talk about this. And look, this is like such a white blue duochrome. I don't have anything like that in my collection and I'm super excited to have such a duochrome. It is a mix of like, what is it? What do you call it? Satin pressed pigments and the good shades. Shimmer shades. This one is, this one, I never used it. Mad about you. It's just, it's a shimmer. Like, it's nice. It would look okay. But it didn't pull me in like Tidepool, Billie Jean, and Lumi all did. It's a lovely shimmers. I feel like this actually could have been a more successful six pan palette. A knockout, Mad About You, Dubba D, and maybe Moonlight. So I would kick these three shades out and just have a palette like this. I think it would have been a really nice palette to play with. And those are the shades that really excelled to me and made this worthwhile. Affordability, it is affordable. If you love blue eyeshadows, I don't, I'll never judge you for buying blue eyeshadows. Blue is like one of my favorite colors. I wouldn't go out and buy this specifically, but if you've got an order with ColourPop and you need to hit a free shipping threshold or you're just a bit curious about it, I mean, why not pick it up? It's a nice palette, but it's not the, um, I feel like maybe this palette has started my search for the perfect blues. Blue is my favorite color, but uh, we need a break from each other for a little while. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you really like you like the looks I came up with. Let me know if there's any kind of eye look styles you'd like to see me try and what you thought. If you are new here, I'd absolutely love it if you consider subscribing. And just to everyone who watches this video, who watches me, I absolutely appreciate and adore you. Mm.